All of us know that, music has a tremendous positive vibrations on plants, animals, and humans alike. In many examples, we have noticed healthy growth in plants, while music is being played, or sung near them. Cultures around the world, including India, and many agricultural regions around the world, have seen farmers and farming done, along with music. The first experiment, regarding the effect of music on plants, was conducted by, Dr. T. C. Singh in 1962. He found that, plants have sensory perceptions, and reacted to sound waves, and vibrations, when they are exposed to music from recorders. The balsam plants, that were the object of his study, augmented 20% in height, and 72% in biomass, on listening to classical music. Later, he repeated his experiment, only with the exception of ragas playing on flute, violin, veena and harmonium. This time too, the plants did not turn him down, and they responded with bounty growth. In 1973, Dorothy Ritalak initiated an experiment, with the same species of plants, in different laboratories and employing different genres of music. Her path-breaking experiment, went to shed light, that plants which were exposed to classical music, have a better growth rate, they grew twice as healthy and robust, exuding positive energy in an article written by, Sayendri Panchadhyay A.E., how the kind of music affects a plant's growth, even plants have a refined taste, for classical music, but if you think that is all, then here comes the interesting part, plants that were privileged, to immerse into the sedative allure of classical music, grew towards the radio, that was playing the music, much like a sunflower that would grow facing the sun. She has documented her series of experiments, in the much acclaimed book, The Sound of Music and Plants. If you're wondering how this magic happens, let me explain. Practically plants do not possess any mechanism to hear the sound, but they can sense the vibrations. So when music is played, the sound waves travel through the air, and are received by the protoplasm of the plant. The protoplasm, is in a state of eternal movement. This creates a condition for, accelerated manufacture and mobility of plant nutrients. Hence, the result is a plant, that boasts of vitality. The oscillating sound frequencies, stirs up the movement of cytoplasm, located within the plants. Seeds exposed to music, have gone on to exhibit bigger size, and leafy foliage on germination. Whether it's a crop field, or the minuscule garden in your room, or the kitchen garden in your backyard, you can treat your plants to music. If you have a balcony garden, then install a music system, and play music for 2-3 hours daily. If you are the owner of a lavish landscaped garden, then the symphony in the garden, will become an ambient music, with the playlist comprising of Bach to Beethoven, Mozart to Tchaikovsky also remember that, plants can't stand noise, and wither away, so don't even think of playing heavy metal music, even if that defines your music taste, you can try out. So, the next time you need an emotional boost, listen to your favorite tunes. Music has the power to reinvigorate all plants, animals, and humans alike. All it takes to get a feel of it, is to sit back, and enjoy listening to music. Relax, enjoy listening to music.